All right, another account review. Today we got Alex on Discord, aka Waffle Tragger. I'm gonna say Waffle Tragger because I don't know how to pronounce that. It's probably some other word in another language or something. Anyways, though, 115, 65% collection. Wait, should we, or we should read the message. I forgot. Anyways, <laughs> uh, he said, hello, Chemo. I joined this game in 2022 during the Northern Overture rerun and Vanguard event. I've been doing OS ever since I've unlocked it good, as you should, and have been grinding it every month. Very good. Right now, I'm trying to get Dev30 on Hindenburg as soon as possible. I don't know if I should unlock all the PR ships or just the good ones. Always the good ones. First, don't do all of it in order. If you can, work on that eventually, but just don't do it in order. So, it's, some of them are, they aren't even necessary. It's just having them there. It's not really that important. Um, I have a decent amount of UR gear. Or at least I think, and I'm trying to clear World 14, but haven't gone to it yet. So hopefully did it, because this video was submitted like three months ago, and I was late to that. Anyway, so uh, let's get into the uh, video stuff. So 2022, I feel like this is so like, this is very casual. I'm, I'm hoping this is higher by now, but this is very, very casual. Even the exercise, like, you should do exercise, my man, because you need gold bullets. Like, gold bullets are very important. Anyways, though, let's get into it. Um, I don't have to see all. I hope you don't go all of it in order. Oh my god, I think you did. Okay. Uh, that's not how I want to do it, but sure, we'll. I guess we'll speed it up a little bit. Um, all right. So, I, I, again, I don't know what builds are. Like builds are different scenarios, but at least you have these ships maxed out. I was like, ships that are maxed out, you can build them however you want later on, but. UR ships, again, are always safe to 125, so you're good there. Um, we'll skip all the way past here for a bit. Um, you pretty much have all the necessary ships to clear World 14. This, this, you'll blow it out of the waters, my man. It is going to be very, very easy for you. Trust me. You have you have much better options compared to what I had back in, was it, 2021 or something? Or 2022 when uh, World 14 came out? So, yeah uh jesus okay I, I think those are the ones you work on as of right now i don't know if you play just like kms only because i see a lot of kms ships are 120 at right now uh but there are good options to take the world to world 14 dds are something you should work on as of right now i think you have like a decent amount of dds like shimakaze and stuff i think and uh yudachi as well like, i think i saw i saw yudachi somewhere i can probably look for it like right here Okay, you don't have Shimakaze. I'm hoping you got Shimakaze. I think her rerun came out recently, so you should have gotten Shimakaze then. Shimakaze Yudachi is very safe for that. Uh, look at the other options. Kazugumo is in here as well too, so you're fine. Like you should have, you should have enough DDs, my man. You should be good on DDs for uh, World 14, especially if you got Laffy too from the uh, Guam event. It's very very good for World 14. Aside from that though. Just healers, like a unicorn or something. I don't know if you have a unicorn worked on as of right now, but unicorn Perseus. I see Perseus. Uh, maybe a unicorn as well too. And it's gonna make your life so much easier. And a Kila as well too. Like any of those like healer fighters or healer carriers make your life very very easy. So I'm gonna skip that for now. Uh, gear stuff. Okay, I need to see the other tab, not this tab, my man. Wrong tab. There we go. All right, we got three four fifty sevens. Very nice. The Sky Raiders, very nice. Uh, one New Jersey gun is fine. I think you joined a little bit late for the second one, so unlucky there. One Drake gun is fine. One Plymouth gun is fine. Two Ten Rise is fine too. I'll work on the third one first, and then all the other stuff. So you're you're staying chill. Uh, just one more Ten Rise, and then like more Plymouth guns. You're pretty much good to go. Maybe like one more heavy cruiser gun. But it's not that important. You probably get a Hindenburg gun though. It's not like it's not massive upgrades, but oh, well, it depends if we use the heavy cruiser or not. But there's some scenarios we don't use them, so it's not that important. But recently, though, it's been pretty important. Baguette guns are fine. Any junkers in here? Three junkers. That's good. 
How about the AP Rocket stuff? AP Rocket stuff haven't came this side, so... AP Rockets were good. Yeah, you're chilling right now. You got, you got, you pretty much got everything good to go. What about the uh, those Havar fighters? Did you get any of those Hellcats, USS ones? I told everyone to farm. <laughs> I see one. Hopefully, you got more. But if there's one, that's fine. You can work with AP Rockets for now. But whenever Yorktown 2's event comes running around the corner again, I would definitely do it. It's very, very important. You're skipping that gear. Uh, I'm hoping you keep up with OS, and you do. So, play... So, <laughs> Alright, you, you, know, you know the struggles, my man. Gold place is like misery. Also, you need to use your skill books, my man. You have like 400 of everything. Like, you, Okay, you're a very casual, casual player. I can tell by skill books alone because you probably use like two books a day and you're done. Which is fine, but I'm saying like two books a day and you're done. It's like you have a lot left over. <laughs> We can stop pumping those books, my man. And get your cube counters up too. Medal of Honor should go up as well too because there's a lot of stuff in the shop that's very important to get. And we have more Medal of Honors. Should make like 400 a month or something to be sustainable. Is that, okay, yeah, see, so World 14. This part's the hard part. More DDs, my man, and healers. OS stuff. You can look at the fleets here. That's going to be the boss fleet. I would kick out Z23 there because she doesn't do anything for a boss fleet battleship. I would add MDIM or something. If you want to use a Bismarck 2, do that. Or use MDIM in this fleet because uh, she buffs all the backlines right here. Yeah, I don't like the DDs here. Like, Helena has to be in here somewhere. There's no, there's, I don't see a single Helena in any of these fleets. Use Hell Knight your best boss to other other battleship or carriers. So kick out one of the destroyers. You don't need destroyers in OS, honestly. Um, and just toss it on there. Sirius should be in the carrier fleet as well, too, because she buffs them uniquely in the stack. Kazagumo should be in the carrier setup as well, too. She's in the wrong carrier setup. She should be in this carrier setup, not this one, because this is the support one with Perseus and uh, Centaur. She gets much more beneficial uh, effects in this fleet right here so do that all right all that stuff you can skip that for now uh fleet tech stuff okay i would definitely max this out whenever you can you get a lot of stats there that are gonna be important later on so pr1 are you buying that right now you got rune yeah, pr1 is not even important now you can skip the entire thing if you want to pr2 I guess the FDG is alright, which I have maxed out. And Ozuma is okay, but you don't really need her. So you're pretty much done here. PR3. Cheshire is nice. Drake is eh. But nothing in here is like super important. Now, PR4 is important. You got pretty much an important ones maxed out. AVP is optional, but she's very good in light and medium armor scenarios against OS bosses. Marco Polo is just in a cross barrage, so you can skip her for now. PR5, Plymouth is maxed out, so that's good. Breast is nice, but ever since Womp came out, I don't think you, don't, you need her as much for World 15, so you can skip on her for now, but she's still a very, very good ship, though. And then PR6, you're working on it right now. Kyrstar is good, Hindenburg is good. Shim Shimanto is going to be very, very good when you get to Chapter 15. I would highly recommend working on her as well, too. She's very, very, very good. And then gear lab stuff. I'm not gonna talk about these importantly, but I should I should make a guide on like how many you need, but that takes so long. I think if you guys watch OS videos that I make regularly, like you should you should know how many to make. For the most part though, a lot of them are scams, not worth it, or they cost too many like uh, like um circuit boards for you to like make value or whatever. So I'm gonna skip all this junk right here. Is that everything? I think that's everything. All right, cool. Anyways, I think you missed something. I'm not sure what, but that's not a big deal. Um, anyways, though, questions. One, should I get all PR ships even if they aren't good? If you got the important ones already, which you mostly do, minus like Kearsarge and Shimanto, then go ahead. Yeah, just level up whatever you want. I would say work on the ones that give permanent like Battleship, Firepower, something like Georgia, Monarch, I think gives Firepower as well too. So work on those because those permanent stats for backlines are important, like aviation for carrier, reload for carrier, firepower for battleships. 
and all that jazz. I'll work on those next and then work on whatever you want after that. Second question is, should I get more any more UR gear on which gears? Uh, Tenrai and then a little bit more Plymouth guns and maybe like one straight uh, Hindenburg gun. That should be okay for now. And then you can work on getting more if you want to for either Hindenburg guns or Plymouth guns. Uh, and what other gear should I grind for? I think they're fine, right? Like I think right now you're missing at Yorktown 2 guns, which is locked by an event, so... Next time you see Yorktown 2 event, you better farm a lot of it. <laughs> uh, so third question is, Hi, I heard that submarines are crucial for late game, but I don't have any high level ones. Should I be start focusing on them? Uh, you don't need them that. Okay, well, they are important, but like it doesn't really matter like which one you use end game as long as you have them. Um, you can't go wrong with KMS. I think the USS ones are good nowadays with the recent one being out. But it doesn't hurt to work on submarines, honestly. Like, they don't even have to be, like, 100 affection for you to get the max stats. Just toss them in if they have 120 or whatever. Uh, but, yeah, the KMS subs are definitely wor uh, worth working on if you have them. Uh, I don't have the list right now, but I'm pretty sure you can look it up somewhere. It's, like, 96, one, uh, not, maybe 101 and, like... 30, 31 or something or 30 I don't remember it's, it's something like that it's like a pink hair girl the meta u5551 and like the gray hair SSR subs this is those combos or whatever get those done and just toss them in we get them at 120 and 125 or whatever then you should be okay but they are nice to have that end game though because they have the little um uh they hit nodes for like percentage of their health which is very very important Fourth question, suggestions for fleets so I can use for 14-3, 14-4. I beat a 14-3, but I forgot what fleet I use. You need DDs, my man. Like, Unicorn, Aquila, Perseus. These ships are going to be very important for you for World four, uh, 14. Uh, I would use Musashi for a mob fleet because she protects your carriers from getting hit by like suicide bombers and all that jazz. So she's going to be very, very good there. But you need, like two healers for your mob fleet and then run two destroyers and one light cruiser or one tank if you're not confident run a tank if you are confident run a, run a light cruiser because they can help kill submarines faster but you want two destroyers like a yudachi shimikaze in your mob fleet and then boss fleet just run all damage back line add one destroyer like a shimikaze or yudachi or laffy 2 or something and run one tank and maybe one side DPS if you want to. DPS is not that important, so you don't have to go like full like Helena buffs or whatever. It's just a matter of getting wave clearing out of the way because there's a lot of mobs and just you just need to clear things very, very fast. So just run a lot of wave, clear a lot of damage, and one destroyer for boss fleet and you should be fine. And the fifth question is what are some uh, other UR ships that I should get that I'm missing? Shimakaze is going to be good for World 14, maybe 15 as well too, but primarily for 14. Uh, the next UR event is coming out in a week or so, so I would get that as well too. But honestly, if there is a UR ship, you should always get them, no matter what. Like even if it's like kind of whatever situational, whatever ship, you should always get. You should always aim for UR ships. SSRs are important as well too, but not that important. But URs are generally very important because they offer cross bridges, so you kind of want to have all of them. And yeah, um, I think that's everything. The update as well too. I got Shimakaze and a second 457. Very, very nice. So work on Shimakaze. Get that done for World 14 and you should be good to go. All right. So that's the end of that video. Hope you all enjoy it. And I will see you guys in the next one as always.